Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to be making the perfect paper project. What? What's that perfect paper project, Kathy? It's one that you can use your scraps. It's one that you can use some paper out of your paper pad. You maybe only have two or three pieces left and you really don't know what to do with it. This is the project for it. You need a little something to give as a gift, but you don't know what to do. This is the perfect project. You guys, it covers all the bases. So what is it? Let me show you. Isn't this adorable? It's very cute. You can decorate it in any way that you want. I have some ideas for you to decorate them also. Looky here. It's a post-it note holder. I think they're so cute. Now I put a little piece of decoration inside. This one doesn't have one inside. Maybe you don't want to put one inside. Maybe you want to put a pocket in here. That's an option. You can do that if you'd like. This one right here, it has one inside. It looks like that. Now you can pick up post-it notes fairly inexpensively. You could order them online. I found some on sale at Walmart. So they're not expensive. Now let me show you some ideas of how you can decorate them. I think I'm going to be using some flat back pearls on mine. Now I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I have been telling you guys, you guys don't wait till the last minute to be making your Christmas projects. <laughs> Well, I'm not waiting to the last minute. I've been starting my project here. Uh, I do one craft show a year. It's an in-house craft show, meaning it's put on for the people who work at that location. And so I have to consider what I decorate mine with needs to be economical because these this is a small item. And I don't want to have a large price tag on it. I want it to be just, oh, get me one of those. Oh, I know what I can do with those. You know, a couple dollars, maybe three. I'm not sure exactly how much, but look how that changed. Just the flat back pearls changed them, just made them pop, didn't it? So I think that's how I'm going to decorate mine because I am going to be selling mine but you could also do some other things. You could use some little bows. You can pop a bow on there. You could get some buttons and you could pop some buttons on your little, your little cover. That's cute. You could get a little piece of scrap lace and a flower and you could pop it on like that. There are lots of things that you can do with these. I think each one of them is absolutely adorable. Now, my little pieces that I used to decorate mine, meaning the printed pieces, these right here, I'm going to show you ones that I selected to do because I'm going to be making lots of these. I'll put this right here while I show you my paper or papers. I have started cutting some and I put little paper clips after I cut them because uh, I've kept them separate so I kind of know the theme that I'm working with. And these are the ones that I have selected. I've shrunk them down for the picture to be five by seven. And I found these on Digital Club, no, digitalcollageclub.com. And I just think they're going to be super cute. There's some Christmas ones. I didn't forget about Christmas. They're going to be really great and really pretty easy to decorate my little booklets with. All right, so with all of that said, how do you make these, Kathy? I want to know. I want to know how do you make them. All right, first of all, you're going to need to pick yourself up some post-it notes. Now, look, these post-it notes are in all 
kinds of colors. There's that what I would call the traditional yellow, pink, lavender, blue, gray, you know, different shades of pink. So you can get even neon. Um, I didn't have any papers to go with neon, so I kind of went with the softer look, except for that yellow. That yellow is just traditional, and I actually had that. All right, so then what you're going to need is you're going to need, I'm grabbing it right here, some cardstock. You could use white cardstock. You could use this brown craft colored cardstock. It comes in kind of a light colored craft and a dark colored craft. But you're going to need some cardstock. You're going to need some paper. Mm, get in those paper pads and pick out some paper that will go with your pieces that you have selected. I thought this green would be really great for the Christmas. And I really needed to look for a yellow to go with my yellow pad. And the polka dot, that's the, the black polka dot I selected for the gray. So that's how I chose mine. Oh, I've got one more. I've got this one. Oh yeah, that one was for the lavender. I didn't have very much lavender in a paper pad, but I thought I could get away with that one. So just kind of go to your pads, take your, go to your paper pads and take your post-it notes and kind of see what goes together and then see what you can do to decorate them up. Now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to give you measurements and they're actually good measurements, you guys. <laughs> They're for real measurements. They're just not like sort of kind of approximate. They're really measurements. <clears throat> and what you'll want to do is you'll want to cut your piece, a piece. This is for one of the little booklets. You'll want to cut this. Now let me look at my notes. The base is cardstock. That's what we've got here. It's six and seven eighths by three and one half six and seven eighths by three and a half. Okay, so you've got that cut out. You've cut it all out. Chop, chop, chop. Then what you'll want to do is you'll want to either take it to your scoreboard. I don't have a scoreboard. I use a ruler and a glass thing here. <laughs> yeah, this is just what I use. And you'll want to <coughs> place the six and seven eighths on the top so you don't want to do it this way you're doing it this way okay and then from the edge to your first place that you're going to score is let me look at my list three and one fourth so from here to here it's three and a fourth the second one that you're going to score is from here to the next one and that is three and five eighths. So from here to the second one is three and five eighths. You're going to score it and you're going to end up with this. Just like this. Okay, we're almost we're almost done you guys. <laughs> it's just not hard. It's not. So the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to your paper and you'll want to cut out from your paper so you've got your paper. Now I'm going to turn this over because it's white. And you're going to take your measurement, your ruler. I've already cut mine out. Once you get one cut out, I find it's easier to use it as a template. And then just draw around it and then cut it. I find that to be the easiest. But this little fella, you'll need four of them. And it is three and one eighth inches wide by three and five eighths inches tall. No, no, no. I said five eighths. It's three eighths. I'm very sorry. Scratch what I just said. Let me start again. This is for the cover, inside and out. You need four pieces. The first one is three and one eighth inch wide, and then and the other side is three and three eighths inch tall. Okay. So you're going to cut that out and you need four of them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. And I've got my piece right here. Next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make a strip. And you need your strip to be one eighth, one eighth inch wide. And it needs to be as long as this. Now I just cut mine uh, larger and I just cut it as I went. Because you're going to put one in here on the on the um, yeah 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 on the on the spine <laughs> and then you're gonna put one in the middle okay so I've got a couple of those let's go ahead and put this together to me this is the hardest part is putting it together because I am not really good and I've, I've said this before I'm not really good at having a piece already cut out and then you have to place it on here this is this is made so that your cardstock has a little bit of a border around it. All of these have a little bit of a border around it. Okay, even the even the um, the edge there. So what I did first is first I did my spine, and I'm using my art glitter glue. You use the glue of your choice. And I placed it down here like this, and I just kind of looked, and I put my finger there, got my scissors, and I gave it a little cut. And then I looked at it again to see if that was enough. And it's not really enough, so I just trim it again till I get to where I have it the way I want it. I think that looks pretty good on there. So I take my glue, and I apply my glue onto my little piece right here and I pop it on just like this and then I take my other piece all right so now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the inside so once again I want to kind of visualize where I want to cut it give it a chop Check it out, see if that's what I like. Yeah, that's pretty good. And apply my glue. Once again, I'm using my art glitter glue, and you use the glue that you like. Getting that on here like this, and just putting it in here. Now, you know you're putting it in between your score marks. Okay, so just check that it's in between your score marks and everything's looking good. The next thing is that you're going to have to put each one of these on your pages. Now, your, your cover, I should say. Your front cover, I'm going to do this. I did not ink around this. Now, you might. I mean, if you like inking, you could do that. I just chose not to do that. I just felt that I was going to do so many of them that I could probably eliminate that step if you're making them for selling you definitely have to consider how long it takes you to make something and how much the materials cost you to make so when it comes to decorating if you're just making them to give away and or to pop into uh, uh, pop into uh, speak Kathy stocking stuffers you know giving them away and birthday presents you can elaborate as much as you want on them and get them decorated at just as much as you'd like but if you're making them for sale the more you put on them one the more time it's going to take you to make them and the more money it's going to cost you thus the more money you would have to get out of them and between you and me I don't think you're going to get a whole lot of money out of this little type of item although it is a very good item to have if you're doing a craft show because you need items of all price ranges you need the two to three dollar 275 I think this goes anywhere from two and a quarter to three dollars I don't think you can get any more than three out of it and I don't think you could make it for less than 
two and a quarter uh, and get your money out of it, you know. So that's just my thought. Uh, you price it accordingly. I think times are tough for lots of people, so I always like to keep that in mind. Because you don't want to go make all your stuff and go, and then you sell nothing because you priced, priced yourself out of the market. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? That is so cute. Now you need your post-it note. Now this post-it note, we're going to pop right here. And I've chosen the blue because I think it looks really cute. It's also, this is a refillable. So when this is done, you just, you know, remove it. Now, yes, it's going to be glued down, but it's only going to be extremely thin piece of paper. You can glue another one right on top. I'm going to add my glue. Before I add my glue, I want to say to you, I'm going to push this all the way up to that fold, all the way up. Push the pad all the way up to the spine. And then, of course, I'm going to try to equally distance the other three sides. You know, do the best you can, right, guys? Just do the best you can. So I'm adding my glue. Once again, you use the glue that you like. And I'm getting it on here. Okay. And then I'm going to turn this so that I can pop this on. I think this is a hard part, too. <laughs> okay, pop this on here. Push it way up. Try to keep it straight. That's not too bad. And I'm going to push it down. Just to make sure it grabs hold. Then you get your cute things to decorate it with. I just selected some of those. Give me an idea. There's this. It's kind of a paler look. I did ink around these. I just thought it helped make it pop a little bit. I'm really not sure which one I like. That one's good, but I think the blue color's hmm, maybe just a little off. There's this. And there's this. You know, I don't know that I like any of those. Maybe I should go with uh, looking at some of these. Let's we'll see. I thought I would like one of those. There's this one. Ooh, that's okay. There's this one. That one's pretty cute on there. That one kind of pops. There's this one. It's okay. There's this one. There's this one. There's this one. And there's this one. Oh, that one's really cute. All things are possible. Or do something today that your future self will thank you for. That one's cute. And this one's cute. And of the, all of those, I like this one. <laughs> you guys, can you tell I don't know what which one I want? I'm going to choose this one. And, of course, I have not inked that up yet. So, we're going to ink it up just like this. Just on the outside. Because I didn't, like, really cut them super close to the edge of the paper. I just allowed the ink to kind of take care of that and it actually kind of makes it look more like it's an extra little frame. Alrighty, so here once again you're going to place it where you want it. These are the these are the things that I'm not really good at. Uh, putting the, the glue on and then having to position it you know just where you want it before the glue sets. But anyway, it must be done. So I'm going to line it up a little bit here and see, I think, maybe about like that. And I'm going to press it down. I'm going to grab some flat back pearls. All right, I already put out a pink, a black, a white, and a blue. And I think the white looks the best, or possibly the pink, but I think the white is the one. So I will be adding three more white flat back pearls. There, I've decorated mine with my flat back pearls. I think this project is a perfect paper project. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.